Elridge called council again today, so everybody's over at the Great Hall looking all scowly. Shake a leg! Ready. Very well. Let's begin by discussing our current situation. Great. Can we start with how I talked until I was blue in the face just to convince this stubborn? You didn't convince me of anything. I am here because the fate of our entire race hangs in the balance. Commander Noah, I presume. My name is Lakian Arcathes for Wood. I come here on behalf of the Fawood clan, as well as the Elvish Table of Elders. We have been informed of the Empire's Rune Lens research, the abductions in the Greatwood, and their pugnant violations of the League of Nations sovereignty. The Elves will not turn a blind eye to such. We seek to join the Alliance. Your strength and courage would be most welcome. Thank you. Okay, is no one gonna give me any credit? <sighs> this isn't about you. I have asked the elves to shelter their army in the forest. We don't want to show our hand to the Empire too soon. There are other minor forces through the League's territory that have declared for the Alliance. Unfortunately, many have declared for the Empire as well. I have succeeded in bringing a large number of surviving Eucrisian and Norristuri troops here to the castle. However, I have not been able to account for General Electra, or Captain Maxim, who stayed in Athrobalt, or King Celis, who fled the city. The general was so brave. There are whispers of other groups who continue to oppose the Empire. Sadly, there is precious little time remaining to us. We should try to connect with as many of them as we can before our clash with the Empire. Yes. It's never too late to keep trying. So that's where those allied rats hide. From the look of it, one would hardly know they raised it from an abandoned citadel. Shall I leave the building unharmed, Your Grace? No. This castle will soon be their grave. I have no use for such a Golgotha. I cannot believe these stubborn wretches are still trying to swim against the flow of history. It is a castle of fools! <laughs> Shall I send a runner demanding surrender? If they're of a mind to capitulate, they'd have done so already. So we attack without mercy? Do you object, General Goldwyn? As I understand it, there are many children in the Alliance. Need we scatter lives so young to the wind? The General, hailed as defender of the Empire, is concerned about the lives of pups who bared their fangs at his motherland. Fortunately for you, General, your Emperor has already cast his judgment. I trust you will obey. I know my place. Narengard! Where is that brutish corpse of yours? One moment. Greetings, Dukes Aldrich. 
You will be pleased to learn the rats who crept into my home are now sustenance for my beloved. Rest assured your plans may go forward unimpeded. They had better. Never fear. Not bad. Sure you don't want to stay that way? And deprive the world of my impossibly handsome visage. What a loathsome suggestion. Ten points for unshakable confidence. I too prefer my thrall's rugged good looks. And I deserve the very best. Hmm. Am I just not seeing it? It sure took the Empire long enough. I figured they'd stage this attack a hell of a lot sooner. Let's just pray that extra time is what decides the winner of this war. Cool. Now all that's left is to wait for the signal. I think I'll head back to the castle. The rest is up to you, Marissa. What? Hey! No fair! They finally found us. Yes, but not as quickly as we feared. The delay has given us time to squeeze in a few last preparations. Speaking of, I've squeezed in a few more rescued soldiers. And I've squeezed our new recruits as hard as I can in their training. Got the troops outfitted too, but barely. And much to the annoyance of my extremely tired craftsmen and merchants. I finished preparing the magical ritual we'll use to signal Marissa. It took delicate adjustments to make sure I channeled the message correctly through the men here, but I'm so perfect, I got it on the third try. It would have been harder, except someone had already performed a similar rite there before. So... A final showdown with the Empire? Yar, I be ready to hustle! Let's knock those villains all the way back home, cousin! But if we lose... We won't. Not a chance. Right, Sane? That's right. This time we stop Aldric no matter what. Some say victory and defeat are a breath apart. I say victory goes to those who work the hardest. We have earned this. Yep. There's no stopping us now. We can do this. The enemy is still readying their troops. There won't be a battle until the morrow at the earliest. Let us use this night to nourish our strength and courage. Good idea. We've done everything in our power. All that remains is to win. And we will. Hmm. So, um... Good luck tomorrow, and all that. It's going to be a very long day, Noah. Get some rest. You too. Listen all you want! Need some?
extra scene? Yes, Yellow. I just wanted to thank you again for rescuing us. <sighs> I don't deserve that. I failed to save your family, and as a citizen of the Empire, I owe you so much more. That's why winning tomorrow's battle is so important. We'll be defending the lives and livelihoods of countless people, not just your village, but people across the League of Nations. Also, the citizens of the Empire must be saved from the ambitions of a tyrant. And I believe we can do it. Um... I believe it too. And I'm praying you come back safely. We'll need all the luck we can get if we're to make it through the day. So every prayer you say makes me feel all the stronger. Hmm? Noah? Hello, Noah. I'm, uh, well, sorry I barged in like that. Barged in? On what? Noah, do you remember our first conversation down in the Rune Barrows? Yeah, I do. It was so quiet, just like now. Look how much our lives have changed. You've gone from a newcomer in the Watch to the commander of the Alliance, and I've left the Empire to fight at your side. I guess it is pretty strange. My mind's been so wrapped up in everything going on that I've forgotten how to reminisce. Well, at least you haven't changed much. You meddle on a much bigger scale now, but otherwise, eh. Oh, that's all I've changed? Eh? When we met, I thought my path in life was fame, renown, and living for my family. My father had pinned his hopes on my elder brother. When he died on the battlefield, grief overwhelmed my mother and she completely closed down. On that day, I decided it was my turn to step up. I lived for my house so blindly that I even raised my blade against you, my friend. It's like every decision I made to that point was wrong. And now, I don't know who I am anymore. Really? Because I just see the same person you've always been. And what is that? Someone who has this... Well, I guess you'd call it a creed? Or a code, maybe. Values that you stick by, no matter what. I saw it in you at the Barrows. I saw it in you when we fought in Altus Vice. And I see it in you now. A code? Yeah. I mean, I didn't know what I was thinking that day I left Kashiri. I just sort of went. But then to meet someone like you, a man with actual goals and principles, it was mind-blowing. And I admired you for it.
So why do you keep fighting this war? And don't say to meddle, because we both know it's more than that. Uh. My mother died when Lane and I were little, so Dad was the one who raised us. He did everything. And then one day, poof, he was gone too. Some bandits raided the village. He decided to fight back. And... Ugh. As a kid, I couldn't begin to understand why he did that. And in fact, I, I hated him for it. I hated that he made it his problem when he didn't have to. Like, was whatever he was trying to accomplish that much more important than us? I wanted so badly to understand him. I see. And did you find your answer? <laughs> yeah. Turns out I'm a lot more like him than I realized. I wouldn't be here if he hadn't stood up that day to protect me, Lean, and the rest of the village. So that's why I'm doing the same now. <laughs> well, don't forget there are lots of people ready to fight for you as well. Including me. Thanks, Sane. I'm glad you'll be with me for the battle tomorrow. So long as we remain together, we cannot lose. I should go, Noah. Have to rest up for tomorrow. That we do. Ah, Noah. Everything all right, Yuma? Oh, um, well, I suppose I'm so nervous about tomorrow that I'm having trouble falling asleep. I thought talking with Periel might calm my nerves, but when I went to her quarters, she wasn't there. Janquist didn't seem to know where she was either, so I've been trying to figure out where she might... Uh, by which I mean... Yes? She's... She's not in your quarters, is she? I think you've got the wrong idea. Oh! <laughs> Goodness, but I'm so very worried. Ever since those Imperial troops appeared on the horizon, she's had this agonized expression on her face. I do hope nothing bad happened. Uh, but she seems to trust you, so if you see her, do you think you could reach out? Sure, I'll do that. All right. Oh, I'm so useless. I wonder she doesn't confide in me. I wonder where Puriel went. Evening, Noah. Couldn't sleep. 
Just out for a walk. What about you, Hildy? I've been double-checking everything for tomorrow. We can't afford a single mistake in such an important battle. Yeah. <sighs> you know, I had my reservations when the lieutenant, when Sane told me he was deserting the Empire. My entire life had been built around my military career, and the thought of turning my coat was unimaginable. So why'd you do it? Because I owe a debt to House Kessling and Sane's father. In fact, that's how I ended up becoming Sane's aide. He always seemed conflicted, both when he was out on missions and when he was placed under Duke's Aldrich's command. Uh. I'm sure he was just as conflicted by his decision to leave. But the moment he did, it was like the shackles came off. He was finally free to fight for his own beliefs. And I could see he was happy. That's why I went along with him, because seeing him happy also made me happy. I believe we have you to thank for being such a strong influence on Sane. Oh, I don't know about that. No, it's true. So, on behalf of the lieutenant, allow me to extend my deepest thanks. You helped him discover that he could walk his own path through life. You set him free. Oh, I don't. I mean, that seems a little... Wait, really? I think I'll get back to work, Commander. Don't stay up too late. We need you on top form tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Hey! Noah, you're supposed to be in bed. <laughs> Sorry, Leon. Amusing, coming from a gal who can't get to sleep because she's too excited. Mimi, shh, don't tell him that. Aha, caught in a web of lies. Web, it's one little lie that's like a strand of a lie, if anything. The web thickens. No, man, webs do not thicken. They, I mean. <laughs> <sighs> Funny, though. Feels like it was only yesterday that we met. That's how life is. Time rolls by without you noticing. Until one day, you're looking around, wondering where it all went. Yeah, I guess that's true. Say, Noah, after we win tomorrow and send the Empire packing... What you gonna do with yourself? I honestly haven't given it much thought. Really? Okay, okay, so hear me out. What if we formed a new watch? We could hunt monsters, teach brigands a lesson or two, fun times like that. <laughs> that does sound fun, actually. Right? Uh, Mimi, are you in? I must finish my journey of the sword. Oh, boo! But I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tag along for a little while. A connection like ours deserves that much. Really? Woohoo! Now we just got a Rogarin! <laughs> well, now that I've got something to look forward to, I'm gonna tuck in. Big victory in the works tomorrow and all that, right? Sleep well, you two. <laughs> She'll never change. No, probably not.
and neither will you. You're steady as a rock, which is probably why so many people stand by you. As for me, you've taken me on an incredible journey as a swordswoman, and I'm grateful. Oh, I didn't do anything special. Hmm. Well, perhaps I'll turn in as well. Can't swing a sword with tired arms, after all. Yeah. We're going to win, Noah. We sure are. Oh, hey, forgot to mention, when we form our new watch, I'm carrying over my status as senior member. Wouldn't have it any other way, boss. That's my kiddo. Trouble sleeping, Commander. I needn't stress how crucial it is to be rested for tomorrow, I trust. Yeah, I know. Melrich, tell me something, and don't lie. Do we have any chance at winning this thing? Well, I suppose you deserve an accurate assessment of our chances. If every single one of our ruses is a success, I place our odds at three in ten. Three and ten? That's... Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> that said, and I do not put this out into the world as some hollow lie to boost morale. I believe we will win. Wait, really? The thing about people is that you can't take their full measure based on mere numbers and information. To me... That's the most fascinating part of living. As a tactician, I look at the numbers, analyze the strategy, and tell you three in ten. But when I look at how hard everyone has prepared for tomorrow, and how resolutely they face the challenge, I believe something different. I believe it's what's inside that will decide who wins. And by the measure of our hearts and spirits, we are certain to carry the day. So that is my answer, given not as a tactician, but as a rather plain man named Melridge. I'm glad you said that, because I feel like we're gonna win too. Then we shall. Oh, I should retire now. After all, I have to prepare not only a battle plan, but a victory feast. Make it a good one. Well, you do. Hey, Noah. Out taking the air? Probably wouldn't kill you to catch some shut-eye. I'm on it. The fates of a lot of folks are on the line tomorrow. I know, Gar. It's a big responsibility, but I'm ready to shoulder it. <laughs> Didn't think I had to worry. All you gotta do is stand tall like always. We'll fight for you to our dying breath. Thanks, Gar. Tell me that after we win. Nothing fills a mercenary's belly like a savory meal after a sweet victory. So let's make sure we get extra helpings of both, yeah? <laughs> Good plan. 
The damn empire doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Night. Oh, and get to sleep already. My, my, but here's a rare guest. You are the last person I expected to wander in. A young woman alone in the enemy camp? You're fortunate my officers spotted and reported you. A woman is less likely to be summarily cut down than a man. And besides, sometimes one must cross the fire to reach water. Meaning what? You haven't come to offer terms of surrender, I presume? No. The others are determined to fight on the morrow despite the odds. Then why? I wish to remove myself from their foolish gamble. <laughs> you intend to surrender alone? Certainly not. I'd sooner break my own knees than bend one to the Dukes. Please just get to the point. During the confusion before tomorrow's battle, I intend to take several of my oldest attendants and flee this place. I have come here to buy safe passage. Your terms? After the battle commences, but before Kinan storms the castle, I need a guarantee we will be let through unharmed. We will abandon the others at the last possible moment, and with your troops at the gates, the Alliance will be unable to pursue. <laughs> Only you would dare to attempt a purchase of your freedom while coming to us empty-handed. House Groom's entire fortune is hidden in a secret treasure vault in Eltisvice. It is yours, if you but agree. Hmm... A tempting offer. However... If you do this, House Groom's name will be dishonored forever. I have more important things to protect than honor and glory. Let them name me a coward. At least I'll be alive to hear it. Here, the signet ring of House Groom. To sweeten the deal, if I have failed to convince you already. Are we agreed? <laughs> It's no secret that you humans value your necks above all else. But very well, we are agreed. I only wish I could have seen that sniveling wretch, Salus Bailrunt, beg for his life. I've sent the others away. It's safe. I thank you for granting me a meeting on short notice, General. I have something that I think you should see. I was under the impression House Kessling had sided with Dukes Aldrich. As head of my house, I had a responsibility to ensure my family's survival. All the same? You've had a change of heart. Under the Duke's nose, I solicited the help of some nobles who oppose him, and used a collaborator in the Intelligence Bureau to get my hands on this. And what have we here? Is this genuine? He managed to keep this one seal hidden from the Duke's. I should not have to tell you, it is authentic. Hmm. You've 
crossed a perilous bridge, Craig. Perhaps. But no matter what banner he stands under, my son is my son. You all fired up for the big day? Might even be the most important day of our lives. Uh, not to add to the pressure or anything, which I'm probably doing, so I I'll just shut up now. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> She's right, you know. It is the most important day of our lives. Uh, everyone's gathered in the Great Hall. You coming? Right behind you. all here. Sorry for running late. That's unusual for you, my lady. I had a few odds and ends to attend to. There's just so much to get ready. Are you ready to move out? Yes. It's time. The day has come for our final battle with Dukes Aldric and his Imperial Legion. Our fates will be decided this day, as well as the fates of countless others. Dukes Aldric seeks to claim the power of the Rune Lenses for his own ambitions, and is sacrificing innocent lives to do so. We have to stop him, no matter the cost. Look around you. We have parents, children, siblings, lovers, and friends, both new and old. People whose homes and countries stand imperiled, whose ideals and cultures are on the brink. Everyone here has something worth protecting, and we will fight to the last to keep them safe. Together we fight. Together we triumph. For the sake of the people and places we love, let us claim this victory together! Are you ready to show those imps the steel of the Alliance? We worked endless nights to get you weapons and equipment, and we know you won't let that be in vain. And if you thought breakfast was good, you're gonna love tonight's victory feast! We believe in you! Yar! We be fighting for the glory of all races! These Imperial Cravens don't stand a chance! These are our lands. It's our responsibility to defend them. And defend them we will. Brothers and sisters of the Alliance, onward to victory! <laughs> Today marks the end of the League of Nations. 
Congratulations, Your Grace. Yes. A page has indeed been turned. Yet, this is but one more passage in my greater story. For the war will continue apace. Can I rely on your continued fealty? Myself, my sword, and my life belong to you, Your Grace. Fools! What do they mean to accomplish with only half, no, less than half our numbers? No wonder that woman wants to demean herself by running for the hills. <laughs> demean herself? They fight for king and country to the bitter end. I only pray they understand when I do the same. Drakkar at the fore and advance! It's time our enemy saw the new face of war! I shall make offerings of them on the bloody altar of conquest! Unhollowed corpses! Attack! If we don't find a way to contain that thing, all the clever ruses in the world won't save us from utter destruction. Tactician had a plan. He, he's here. He came for us. Primitive race like the tree folk come by such power. Pay the dragon no heed. Advance. All right, it's time. 
time. Give the signal, Janquis. Yes, milady. Hmm. There's the cowardly woman's signal. At least she's smart enough to know one overgrown plant won't change her fate. Alert the troops. Tell them to momentarily halt their advance and refrain from engagement. At once, sire. As the battle is already raging, I shall go personally to ensure no harm befalls her in the confusion. Huh. You worry over much. One must uphold one's promises to a lady, sire. What's wrong, Heinrich? Uh, I'm not sure, Your Grace. The Kinanis seem to have halted their advance. Halted? What is Valmaris thinking? It's now or never. Give the signal, carry. Uh, right. I will do that because I'm totally ready to do that. Because I am perfect. Dare they keep me on a knife's edge for so long? Even one as great as I was starting to lose my composure. Don't you dare, Thrall! You're decomposed enough as it is! Yeah, can we just get on with it? You know what to do, yes? Of course. All Guardians are taught the secrets of the Rune Letters. Very well. Then follow my lead, and focus everything on the Primal Lens. No! No! What ghastly trick is this? What's happening? And what in blazes is that sound? The Reverend Army is... They're turning into dust! Right on cue. The Forward Clan and the Elves stand with the League of Nations. Now show them how true our arrows fly. Archers, knock. Archers, loose! I am Electro. General of the Norasturi Army, and my every waking moment has been spent in anticipation of this day. Hear me, my soldiers! Long have you suffered the Empire's indignities and borne the unbearable for your country, but together we will focus your anger into a single mighty blade. Today, we defeat our sorrows and avenge our beloved Athrobolt! Now let us overrun these Canarni dogs! Charge! An ambush? Curse those wretched elves! Those blasted stragglers! Counterattack now! Send everyone! We can't, sire! The soldiers were just given the order to stand down! Our lines are in chaos! Contain this pandemonium at once, Vordis! Vordis! General Vordis is on the front line, sire. I'll have hands for this! Reform the ranks at once! I don't care what it takes! Oh, yeah! Woo! Look at the elves go! Wait, isn't that... General Electra! She's alive! General Electra of Norrister, with me!
happening out there? The Reverend Army has been annihilated, Your Grace. Also, our troops have been ambushed by both the Elves and a company of Norasturi stragglers, led by General Electra. I don't care if they've been ambushed. We still have more than double their numbers. So get out there and crush them! Your Grace. Beg pardon, Your Grace, but... Yes? What now? Warriors of Kena! I hereby renounce the King's sworn oath I made upon these hordes. Henceforth, I follow the honor of my heart and fight for the Alliance. My enemy is Dukes Aldrich and his cursed empire. And if your heart knows this to be as true as mine, then follow me to victory! Onward with General Vortis! We'll show those Galdians what Dragon Newt warriors are made of! Those filthy Dragon Newt traitors! To arms! To arms! The Kanani's have turned against us! What is the meaning of this, Vortis? You are King Sworn! I no longer have a king. You accuse Lady Periel of demeaning herself. And she said there are more important things to protect than honor and glory. You scoffed. You wouldn't know true nobility if it grabbed you by the horns. Oh, spare me your momentary crisis of conscience. Oh, but this is no crisis. With every fiber of my being, I renounce you. Alliance's main force. Make it known, a generous reward awaits whoever brings me the head of the blasted boy who commands them. You will lead the charge, Goldwyn. I order it in your Emperor's name. War is opportunity. The ability to seize the right chance at the right time. And the time has never been more ripe. You wouldn't. There! Aldrich! You wicked traitor! Your crimes have been brought to light! You murdered the late Emperor and sequestered his son away to use as your pawn! What rot! Where is your proof? I hold in my hand a letter from His Young Excellency himself. It was entrusted to me by a number of principled individuals who at great risk to their own life and limb, managed to elude your surveillance network. Hear these words, Aldrich. By order of His Excellency Ishmael Fetranthis, Emperor of the Gordian Empire, his father's murderer is to be put to the sword. No! No! This cannot be! No! Wait! Look over there. Is General Goldwyn really... He is. He is! The General is going to fight with us! I can't believe it, but I think you're right. And why? What happened? Do you remember what I told you last night, Commander? I said victory depends on what's inside a person, which is why we would carry the day. So it's really that simple. Don't listen to a word he says, Noah. You can't trust any rogue who sends a lady into the enemy camp so she can pretend to be a scared little girl. Agreed. 
I can't count how many times he sent me into Imperial territory to spy on the Intelligence Bureau. And he insisted I pretend to be philandering in order to avoid suspicion. Wait, what? I totally believe that! You may submit your complaints later. What matters now is how we use this chance. He's right. Everyone target Aldrich's main force! Advance! Let me at him! You impudent worms! I dedicate this battle to his grace! Enemy unit destroyed. Now on to the next one. One enemy unit destroyed. Now on to the next one. We've defeated the enemy! The enemy is no more. <sighs> you all did well. Oh! 
Attack! I seem to have the advantage. I'm sorry, General. Good! Keep pushing and annihilate the enemy! Forward! As show moister of the Shiorks, I accept your challenge. Don't hold back! Go! Sighted. 
Prepare to attack. You filthy, insignificant maggots! I'll not let you lay a single finger on his grace. <laughs> <laughs>